Sorry, Cup number four, day three, uh, to the B stream here, to another cast of mine and Wolfgang, who's sitting next to me, our heroes of the Stormcaster here at Take TV. My name's Busty. I cast uh, Hearthstone here mainly, organize this event as well. But enough about that. We do have the next match coming up here. It is the winner's match, I believe, of this group. Yep. Between uh, Powder and Super JJ. Yeah. So Complexity versus Mandalite right here. Both of these dudes pretty cool. And uh, as we can see, JJ there on the right. He's thinking hard, man. It's like half fail fish, half not like this. We'll see how it goes for him. <laughs> we are in here. Okay, we s we are seeing uh, Hunter versus Warrior. And uh <laughs> oh, okay, you need to be in like <laughs> I need him to nice. All right, I got it. No, I don't. Not working apparently. Yay! Rejoin. Rejoin? Yeah. Does that help? Yes. Okay, we'll rejoin. Yay! Nothing, uh... Well, we're not missing much. They're still on the mulligan. Still on the mulligan. Alrighty. <laughs> Dude, it's like it restarts. <laughs> the hell? Okay! Oh, they are actually still on the mulligan. Okay, so we do see Hunter here for good old JJ. And, uh, the warrior for Powder here. Now, uh, this matchup can go both ways, although mostly you would probably say that the Control Warrior is favored. Bastian yeah. Vonne casting Pog Jeff. Oh, yeah, Babel. She actually tweeted at me. That was cool. <laughs> nice to see you guys hanging out on the B stream, having some fun, watching some Hearthstone. I hope you like, like, what are you guys doing next to this? Are you like, uh, like just eating stuff, maybe watching like series <laughs> or playing uh, a bit of Hearthstone or another game yourself? Like, what are you up to today, guys? Mods in here are. Watching another stream, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> Cheats. Yeah, let us know oh, what you guys it. are doing. Is it at least Fallout 4? Oh, yeah, Fallout 4 came it's out. I forgot about that. It's not Fallout 4. I'm, oh, my God. I'm so disappointed. Wow, Misha is pretty good here, man. That's, like, really good. It's probably the best. Like, how do you get through this? It's really awkward. <laughs> like, you could armor up shield slam attack, but that's weird. Is that what he's going to do? Wow. Feels bad, man. Like, you, like, after attacking, you can't just, like, armor up. Like, that's way too much damage. So he's going to use one Shield Slam here. I mean, there's worse, right? Because he just did draw that uh, Pilot Shredder. And this this turn's actually pretty key. Yeah, and the Animal Companion is not correct here, in my opinion. Um, sure, you get a lot of damage through, but I would have liked the Knife Juggler Abusive more because now it's really hard to deal with this. Because, sure, he's going to take four from Huffer, but he is also going to play the Shredder with this, and that's going to be insane. Like, from this point onwards, it's the other way around of taking board control. Although there is a freezing trap, so that might change my opinion. It is going to change my opinion. Death Spike going to come out, maybe. He's taking a lot of damage. Never mind. I like the approach from JJ. <laughs> They're just thinking faster than me. That's what this is. So, but you uh, aren't in the Hearthstone. Like, you're not into it that much, right? Yeah. Did Seed Story change a little bit of it? Like, are you playing more? Are you into it? Yeah, I uh, started. Actually, after each day of the Seed Story Cup, I'm sitting at home. And um, I can't really play Heroes at the moment at home okay. because I don't have a real desk. Oh, really? Yeah. I uh, didn't have the time to buy one yet. So I got the... Uh, uh, I just moved to my new place uh -huh. and I got the, uh, the package where my oven was in. And I <laughs> just put it there and some wood where my keyboard and my mouse is on uh -huh. and...
It's wow. it's so interesting. And Hearthstone. How much damage is? <laughs> wait, let me count. That's fourteen. Like uh, how no, the players? All right, that's game. Oh, it's okay. so interesting how the players look in Hearthstone while they are playing because every uh, every player has a different like resting concentrated rested resting face. True. Yeah, so like, like this, we know this for example. Yeah. And for example, uh, Oskaka, he looks really sad when he's concentrating. Yeah, he's always like, he's. What should I play next? Mm. Okay, this one. And it's actually like he's just his face is just resting, and he's like, okay, this and this and this. Others like uh, Elki. He's hiding his face, poker style. <laughs> dude, Elki's so awesome. Man. Yeah. <laughs> that dude, like for real. Oh, we got the next matchup. That was fast. Okay, so JJ obviously staying on his hunter. And uh, Powder deciding to choose his druid over his, uh, yeah, warlock that's remaining. Next to Paladin being banned on both sides. He just lost his warrior. It's going to be corrected in the overlay very shortly. There's okay. a control warrior mirror on the mainstream. <laughs> oh, that sucks. <laughs> oh, my God. I guess we're gaining viewers. Okay, this is one <laughs> thing I hate about uh, Hearthstone. Control warrior mir mirror matchups. It's you know what? It's just I not fun to watch. That's what I said as well. But if you play the, if you actually play the game yourself a lot, it's awesome, right? Because okay, yeah. It's, it's not as easy as it, as it looks, but it's... No, you... <laughs> watching it is like... The one thing I learned about Control Warrior Mirror matchups is uh, the person who draws Justica first wins. Yeah. Um. Well, no, not really. I mean, it's a really good and key card of the matchup. I agree with you there, but like, it's not that you just win automatically while getting it. Damn, Huffer's really good here because there's nothing to take care of it just yet. He needs like an Innervate or some sort of spell to take care of this. He's going to have to trade this down. Wow, the BGH as well, man. Just have something here. I actually like it, to be honest. If he trades the Scientist now, this is a good play, in my opinion. Good old Huffer. <laughs> the Freeze Trap coming out here. And the Knife Juggler. Oh, he can go double juggler here if he wants to. Put a nipple on your head. Okay, he goes for the Shredder instead. I like it. He's like, okay, you know what, bro? You can attack with one of these. Anything <laughs> else is just going to get uh, frozen. I still like the trade here, though, just because of the potential keeper coming out. But he goes face. Yeah. That probably cements the fact that we are going to see a keep. Okay. That is an innervate. But just because that is an innervate and there is a seven mana doctor boom in hand, maybe the keeper makes more sense. We shall see. Check the trap first. Face because of potential snake traps. Yep. And there's that keeper. And all of a sudden, this looks a little turned around. We do see a golden <laughs> <laughs> lieutenant coming out here. Double juggle infiltrator looking pretty good because that's pretty hard to take care of on turn five in theory. And, oh he even has a, and he even has a high main <laughs> <laughs> to follow this up with. Oh, wow. Oh, Full on smork, man. God. Oh, but that's such a good draw. The swipe. Is he using it this turn or is he still going to put out boom? Putting out boom is like so risky. Yeah, okay. He's going force of nature. That makes sense. It also means that he can't play boom for another turn and that he will get a high main to the face. That is fine. Wow, abusive and kill command. That's so much damage next turn, man. How much is that? Like nine? Just out of his hand if the <laughs> beast survives? So much. Druid of the Claw. Yeah, that means he's like three off lethal, I guess. He's not going to use his kill command, it seems. He's thinking about it, but he's not going to. He's like, yeah, you know what? If it gets silenced by the second keeper, which is like really unlikely to happen and swiped or like and removed without him taking damage i'll take it yeah so uh. swipe trade is the idea what comes out of the shredder a taunt would be super block oh, oh. wow he has to take that out and that means that we're gonna have the game here and jj gonna win his second game in very short succession here nice 
Where was Asmo? Baby Rage? He's playing the next one. Yeah. The next match. He's playing uh, loser's match against Saleh. Uh, yeah, I think so. No, no, wait. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Of course. And There's that's that one. game. So what's left for Powder is... Dude, JJ must be happy about this. Oh, it's like okay. Hunter Sweep. I actually just talked to Ignite, who got 3-0 swept by Frodan on the what? main stream. 3-0? Yep. By uh, Hunter, actually. And he what was like, is... God damn Hunter, man. Because people are always like, oh, Druid things. If Druid ramps insanely, it's so OP. Hunter is one of those classes, if you think about it, and th like, if you actually think about it a lot, uh, there's no card draw. And, and you really never ever find yourself having a lot of uh, cards in hand. But that makes it work okay. for some reason, right? Because there's such high value. Like, take the Hymate, for example, or an Animal Companion, or obviously the Scientist, which is like a 4-mana 4-4 four four if you think about it, right? It's like a 2 tube with like a, a secret spawn. Like, it's absolutely insane. Froden and REU are a 6-0 with Hunter in this tournament? Yeah. <laughs> wow. This is a pretty good start, though. It would be Hunter. so funny if Froden would win this. Well, not only would it be funny, but it's actually pretty realistic. Like, let's think about this, right? It's actually not too far away from reality. Yeah. Okay, so we do have... Uh, miracles do happen. Miracles do happen. We have a decent start here for uh, the Hunter, but he is going to play the last deck of Powder, which he is going to have to win 3-0 with. Um, this matchup is actually slightly in favor of the Hunter. I didn't know this for a long time, but that's just because <laughs> I suck at it. Uh, it's obviously really good versus the Warrior from Super JJ. And uh, it's not good versus the Druid of JJ. So yeah. we'll see if Power can get through this. To be honest, it's not that easy. Like, getting through this is going to be hard. Like, really hard. What matchup is not... <laughs> like Which matchup isn't hard? Uh, no, uh, against the Hunter. Which every, matchup is good? Every, every matchup is hard against the Hunter. Uh, not really. Um, there's a lot of matchups where you just win. Like, Control Warrior actu like, normally is supposed to win. Um, and then you have, like... I mean, it obviously depends on the draw, but for example, any sort of mage basically wins. Um, what else wins, basically? Mid against mid-range, Zoo is pretty strong. Like, if you draw bad, that's the only ba like only drawback from, like, uh, having no card draws. If you draw bad with it, like, if you draw, like, two secrets, you just lose. Like, okay. Oh, ba Babel's actually making a good point. We need him as a caster, though. Yeah. He can't be allowed to be too good. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> we need him as a caster. He just needs to cast and play at the same time. Yeah, that seems <laughs> fair. <laughs> well, he can only cast from his own deck, like, what he sees. That's, that's like, so weird. <laughs> and he just has to speak uh, of him in third person. Nice, I like I'm it. wondering what Froden is uh, about to play here. Wow, this is actually, like, going... Oh, that's a key card. It's actually going pretty well for uh, JJ in the sense that he's gotten his opponent down to, like, not too much HP on turn four. Wow. <laughs> uh, but there is a Molten. And no Savannah High Main just yet. That is a terrible draw. But on the other side, there is no Taunt. Oh, there is a Taunt. Never mind. But there's no Heal for uh, good old Powder. And just because of that, I love the bow put in here. For powder because he's uh, for JJ because he's like okay you know what if he doesn't have any heal yeah I just win the game at this point with kill command hero power and powder's like well I can't really do much more and JJ is like so happy this was one of the fastest rios of the tournament yeah pretty that's what much. happens and JJ is really happy to have won that one <laughs> huge load off GG well GG 3-0 for super GJ. And uh, yeah, next will be Asmodai versus Saleh. And the chat will go crazy again, I think. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Let the uh, Asmo fanboys out of their caves. Poor Powder. Yeah, poor Powder, man. Yeah, He's not going to be happy. He's not going to be happy because of that. But like, Powder's a chill dude, right? Like, he yeah, won't. Like, definitely. if you, if you, if you were. Uh, wait, was this a loser's match? No, winner's. No, no, right? no, okay, so he's not even out. But yeah. even if he were to like be out of the tournament, like. He'll be sad for like 20 minutes, and he'll be like, you know what? Whatever. Like, I, I, I guess I did my best, you know? <laughs> I mean, let's be honest here. Two out of those matches, he should have won purely based on like the, the decks they were playing. But uh, the draws just went really well for JJ as well. Like, he played well, but the draws just went well as well. Yeah. So, um, yeah, sometimes that's just how it goes. Really fast series right there. So, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, we're going to have the. Uh, 
next match here rather shortly. We've talked about that a long time. I guess most of you are here for the Asmo match. He's going to be playing versus Zelay, who is a very strong opponent. Yeah. But I did talk to Asmo, and he feels like uh, his lineup is very good against Zelay's lineup. So uh, we'll see how that works out. So uh, don't go anywhere, guys. We're going to see you very soon after the break here at State Story Cup number four. Stay tuned.